You know why I make Facebook live videos instead of just recording it uh, not live? Well, might be surprising to you to hear this, but I don't like making videos. This is why I make all of my videos live, whether it's Facebook live or Instagram live, or I am on a group teaching call and I record a particular segment. Now, this is maybe surprising because those of you who have followed my journey have probably noticed that on YouTube, you can find over a thousand videos from me. Uh, I have made well over a thousand by this point. I stopped counting a couple years ago after I reached a thousand. So all this experience, and I still am not natural to just make video without going live. Now, let me explain. Going live means I get one take only. And so it helps me to short circuit all the doubts that naturally come up for me uh, and the uh, desire to redo it over and over and over again. When I used to make videos without doing it live, I could take an hour easily to make a five minute video because I was doing it over and over and over again. It just kind of drove me a little crazy. So I said, no way. Now, before this though, before I even started making videos, I should let you know that I used to tell everybody, <laughs> this is funny because I used to tell everybody, videos are not, there, there's no need to make videos. Videos are not the future. Um, you know, it's just hype. You know, it's funny I said that. I said this from 2009 to 2014. I was already a marketing coach and expert by then. And I was telling everyone not to make that, you know, when people ask me, oh, do you think video is going to be, uh, when they ask me, do, they, do, do I think video is going to be important in the future? I said, oh, yeah, there's no way because people still like to read search engines. You know, they, they prefer text. And, you know, when you, when you write, you're able to think more clearly and produce something that isn't that is more polished all that stuff okay and so it's because i hated seeing myself on camera i had so many judgments about myself i'm not handsome enough uh i felt like my voice sounded weird if do you remember the first time you heard your voice in a recording how was that <laughs> I know I was embarrassed that that's how my voice sounds. I was weirded out by that because, well, our, we're used to how our voice sounds in our head, you know, and we're used to seeing ourselves in the mirror and like having a certain expression in the mirror, you know, we just, or what, whatever. I mean, I'm not actually good at acting. Uh, so I'm not good at putting my face in certain expressions, but so that's why when we hear ourselves, we see ourselves on video, it's, it has this strange experience and, and we think we have all these kinds of judgments uh, and it's very natural to have them. The only people for whom it's not, for whom it's more natural to be on camera are people who grew up with that. Some kids now are used to getting filmed all the time or filming themselves all the time and they but most of us did not grow up with that and so it's very normal to feel embarrassed unnatural on camera so you might think wow george i mean you you're so natural on camera how how did that happen just through a lot of practice first of all i mean but but let me actually begin i i i started because I was encouraged in a small group. I will always be grateful to Tad Hargrave, his website, check it out, marketingforhippies.com, marketingforhippies.com. He invited me to talk to his clients, a group of clients. And at that point, I was okay talking to my clients, uh, my small group of clients on video or one-to-one -one certainly was, was okay. But to be beyond my clients was scary for me. But my friend Tad kind of say, hey, can you talk to my clients about whatever? And so I did. And it was, these are strangers. And I was, people found it helpful. 
And then I did it again for, I think, another group or Tad brought me back again, whatever. And eventually I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe there's something here. And then so I formed a, a, um, a small Facebook group of supportive people to try making videos there. And I got encouraged there and it kind of goes on from there. So if you have been wondering about maybe making videos, you might want to smart start with a small supportive Facebook group. Uh, incidentally, I have a online course called Authentic Video Creation, which comes with a private Facebook group where people uh, are encouraged to post as many videos as, as they want there to practice and get, get encouraged, get supported there by others. But it doesn't matter. It, the key is to start. For me, the key was to start in a small private group to get encouraged. And so why, why is making video something that I highly encourage? highly recommend now why why have I made so many now you might think well making video is probably good for your marketing you know people discover you and yes that 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 is a side benefit but I'll tell you the real major benefit of making video or really any kind of public self expression authentic practice of public self expression why because by doing this, you discover your most authentically powerful voice. Not necessarily literally your voice. Actually, that might make a difference. I mean, that might actually change your physical, literal voice when you find your power. But more importantly, it's this sense of being settled into your soulful self that um, where you feel really comfortable sharing some of your deepest thoughts and your most alive presence. That's what I wish for you, is to feel this kind of aliveness and exploration and this passion for connecting with others, no matter who they are, not being afraid of strangers anymore, not having stage fright anymore because of video. Well, nowadays, most of us present to, a, to the public on Zoom or on, on virtually, right? Very few of us actually present physically. I don't even, I can't remember the last time I did an in-person speech, even though, by the way, I actually really, really enjoy those. So if someone wants to fly me out and make me do an in-person speech, please let me know. But, but I'm really good at that. But it's like, the being on video is actually funny thing is for some people it's harder to be on video than it is to be in in the in the room of many people but regardless the key about the practice of authentic self expression what that does is it helps you to really become your most powerful and i believe kind of the, the, the truest expression of you in this life where you have the strongest energy signature that's unique to your soul in this life. So making video is probably, I would say the, at this time, I would say it's the um, pinnacle of the practice of authentic self-expression on the internet. Writing is, is also can be vulnerable and can be uh, revealing and, and, and can, can also help you empower yourself and find your voice. But video 